the fan film that has completely taken over the Dragon Ball community, the fan film that everyone is talking about, the fan film that I have been following closely for the past four years is finally out. Let's fucking go. My son, stay strong. Your crown is here, and your kingdom awaits your return. So I can't remember! Unbelievable! And did you forget the promise you made me as well? <sighs> you promised to marry me, Goku! I am absolutely in love with this animation style. Honestly, dude, this is the closest that we are ever going to get to a Dragon Ball that looks like Cowboy Bebop, that looks like Samurai Champlo. This is gorgeous. The storytelling, I'm trying to figure out if they're trying to remake the entire Dragon Ball anime or just make something special, a snippet in time for the appreciation of how much Dragon Ball has meant for the rest of us. And honestly, I think it's closer to the second part than it is to the first because this is something that is a love letter to anime, a love letter to Dragon Ball, and honestly, just the animation production style, it feels like something that is officially produced. And in a lot of ways, this looks a lot better than Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Well, his life's over. <laughs> uh, is that all you can say for yourself? I... Uh... Goku! <laughs> <laughs> I never once in the entirety of me covering this fan film, when I was watching all the trailers, thought that Broly was going to be in this, but just on not even seeing him, the energy glow, the color of it, his voice, and the golden bling that's stoning his arms and legs, this is absolutely Broly right here. I'm in shock that he's even in the movie, honestly. It's not every day that a king leaves his throne. But for you, I make a royal exception. Vegeta was here for Broly the entire time. This was a well-kept secret throughout the entirety of the promotion for this. And I honestly thought that Vegeta was here for Goku, as you always think. 
but now it makes sense. Legend, Broly, they work hand in hand, and a few years ago, four years ago in fact, during the production of this movie, Dragon Ball Super Broly was the one that's coming out on air, the one that Toriyama and Toei both pushed to the fandom, so it makes sense that Broly is the big bad for this movie. I've trained for this one moment. For the pride of the Saiyans! For my family. And yes, even you, Kakarot. Oh, ooh, just one more time. Say that line one more time, Vegeta. And yes, even you, Kakarot. The voice acting in this is just on a completely different level, guys. This is some of the best that I've heard, not only, with not even just the voice acting, the sound work, best voice acting and sound work I've heard in any of the fan animations. This is hype. This is amazing. Please don't take this down, Toei. Saiyan legend, hear me! Today a god falls. Bones to dust. Ashes to the wind! Bro, what was that? So one punch right in the diaphragm, one punch to Vegeta, takes him out of Super Saiyan, but then only his will pushes him back into it. Guys, I've never even seen that in Dragon Ball Super. That shit is next level. <laughs> I want to see this in the future of Dragon Ball Super where your transformation, the Super Saiyan power that you hold keeps coming and flickering in and out. I love the way they do it in this. It's like a candle and he actually ended up using all of it into a sword that he was then able to use to face off against Broly and even sever his arm. The stylistic choices and the power choices in this Dragon Ball fan animation, you really don't see them in the official release. They are doing some creative stuff over there at Studio Stray Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Chi Chi is really that girl. She is right to die in this. Honestly, this animation alone may have redeemed Chi Chi as a character, as far as I'm concerned.
This is by far the hardest Goku transformation scene that I've ever fucking seen. Have you seen anything else that compares to this? This is the only one that has transformed him into Sun Wukong. It has basically brought the legend to life. It is something that I never thought that I would see and I love the touch of his heart, his inside burning as he transforms and his flame coming out of his mouth is what gives him that Super Saiyan color. This is... This is beautiful. How is it in the same year that we got the Gohan, Beast Gohan transformation sequence that there is a Beast form for Goku in the exact same year, almost the exact same month, I think it's very close, where this Beast form is far greater, far more intense, and far more bestial than the one that we got officially from Toei. I guarantee you in a few years we're going to be seeing a Toei form that looks exactly like this. Mark my words. I remember. It's Chi-Chi, right? Kakarot, stop calling me that. That name is your birthright. For you, just like I, are the legacy of a proud race of golden warriors. We are the keepers of the primal light. Your light is out of control and must be refined to be useful. Your days under the sun are numbered, Kakarot. So marry that woman while you still have the chance. And come with me. We have to prepare. For what? War. I say it again, Toei, please do not remove this from YouTube. Hire Stray Dog Studio to make a spin-off of Dragon Ball, or at least fund this in any way. This looks like there's gonna have a second part to it, but still, they need to fund this right now. This is by far one of the most beautiful and meaningful Dragon Ball animations, fan animations at that, but Dragon Ball animations that I've ever seen. And I'm saying it right here, this alone was better than Superhero. Subscribe for more content.